Just the idea that this will lead suddenly to picking, packing up their stuff and massively coming to Europe is simply ignoring a lot of very good scientific insights. Just the idea that climate change will lead to mass migration to the wealthy countries of Europe and North America is simply ignoring a lot of evidence we already have. Most people who move in response to a, a climatic uh, event, like, like for instance flooding uh, or, or a hurricane, move on very short distances, want to go back home as soon as they can. Another issue is that if people are really going to be impoverished, for instance think about peasants in sub-Saharan Africa, they wouldn't even have the resources to make it that far. And actually the biggest problem group is people who are going to be trapped, who cannot move. Think about Hurricane Katrina. Most of the victims, most of the people drowned during Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans were people who didn't have cars and who were very poor. And they got trapped into city areas where they couldn't move out. And I think that is the biggest concern. So there's very good reasons to be concerned about climate change and very good reasons to be concerned about the impacts, the negative impacts this can have on livelihood. But the idea or to run the argument that migration is going to increase and therefore we have to do something is simply not scientifically uh, sound. But I think there's another problem. It plays into very common fears that we are facing an impending invasion of migrants. And again, there is no evidence for this. And actually using that argument can be pretty dangerous. Thank you.